Beautiful night for baseball as the Angels look to bounce back after a tough loss, getting shut out for the first time this year at the hands of the Cleveland Indians. Tonight from the Big A, it is game two of this three-game set. We welcome you inside our broadcast booth and back to Angels baseball here on Fox Sports West along with Mark Gubiza. I'm Victor Rojas. And uh, tonight, Garrett Richards is on the mound for the second time this season, and he got off to a terrific start. He just could not finish against the Oakland A's. Well, Victor, when you think about it, you've lost 12 straight to the Cleveland Indians. You won your ace on the mound. Garrett Richards has ace-type stuff. He's going to go out there and perform tonight, especially when you think about the pitch. It's really going to be important for him, his slider. This Cleveland club is a very good fastball hitting club. That slider can act sometimes as if it's a splitter going down and away. It's a tight slider. It's a pitch that you get a lot of swing and misses from, especially against some of the right-handed batters. Utilize that curveball at times to lefties, but finish off these hitters with that slider. Show the fastball in off the plate and attack throughout this game with that slider to get some quick outs and get deep in the game and break this losing streak to Cleveland. Well, it was uh, that afternoon on opening day in the Coliseum that uh, Shohei Otani made his major league debut, went one for five as a DH. This will be his second game, and he's uh, get a chance to kind of debut him here in front of the uh, home crowd. Well, Victor, when you think about it, 48 career home runs over in Japan. He's facing a pitcher that gave out 23 home runs last year. Josh Tomlin throws a lot of strikes. Shohei really working on his timing as far as no more leg kick as far as his swing through that path. He's going to stay back on the baseball, see if he can drive something here today. You just feel it's going to be something special with Shohei Otani. We saw it on the mound on Sunday. Will he do it here at the Big A in his debut here at the plate today? Well, he certainly had a terrific performance on Sunday on the mound. Love to see him get that first uh, hit here at the Big A. If not, a big fly would be rather nice, too. And yes. Just support Garrett Richards, who is making his second start of the year. We're just about ready for baseball here at the Big A. Sit back, relax, line up some first pitch when we return. On balance throw. He got him again. Left side, Simmons backhand to jump throw to first base. Going to get him. Free quote and see how much you can save. And by your SoCal Mazda dealers. Mazda, driving matters.
We welcome you back out to the Big A, game two of this three-game series against the Cleveland Indians. Gooby mentioned it in the open, a 12-game losing streak at the hands of the Cleveland Indians and been asked quite a bit about it uh, last night and, of course, this morning. And uh, the only response is that uh, good pitching usually stops good hitting. And the Cleveland Indians over the last couple of years have some very good pitching. Yeah, they've had real good starting pitching. Their bullpen has been great. They've been solid defensively and then a very good everyday lineup one through nine. And they've had a lot of success, period, over everybody in baseball, but especially against the Angels. 12 straight. But you have your ace on the mound today to try to change that formula today. And Garrett Richards go out there and attack the strike zone. Halos were shut out last night. It's the first one for Cleveland on the season. They had 19 shutouts to lead baseball last season so nothing new Mike Clevenger the former Angel farmhand certainly did a number on the Angels offense we'll see what they can do against Josh Tomlin this evening let's take a look at uh, Terry Francona's starting lineup for the Cleveland Indians at two and two on the season Francisco Lindor will lead things off in short Jason Kipp is in second Jose Ramirez at third base Yonder Alonzo homer last night one of three for Cleveland and Edwin Encarnacion had an inside the park variety Bonnie Chisenhall's in right. Roberto Perez gets a start behind the plate. Tyler Naquin homered last night as well. He's in left. And Bradley Zimmer batting ninth, and he'll play center field. Take it on Garrett Richards. We mentioned the uh, one start up in Oakland. Five innings, seven hits, four strikeouts, three walks. And really, if you take anything away from that start, he was cruising. His stuff was great. You look at velocity, the bite on his pitches. One mistake to Chris Davis, and it kind of snowballed and on And that's him. really, when you think about it, his really his keys, his go-tos, as far for me, for him to be successful today, is location of his fastball. The target set by Maldonado away ends up being out over the plate against Chris Davis, ends up being a three-run home run. Anytime you have your catcher reaching away from the spot, he wants his break ball. Lower part of the strike zone or below ends up being a strike, and Olsen hits that one out. For the most part, Garrett threw the ball exactly where he wanted. When you miss against this Cleveland club, you have to miss off the plate, whether that's below the strike zone or off the inside corner. Take a look at the uh, defense for the Angels that will try to support Garrett Richards tonight up to try to Calhoun, the uh, standard three in the outfield. Luis Valbuena at third base, Simmons at shortstop, Cozart at second, Pujols at first base with Otani dh -ing. tonight. Rene Rivera gets a start behind the plate. And it's good to have an Albert back out at first base, the third star of the season. At first base, had six starts all of last season. Give an opportunity for Otani to be able to DH. When you think about it, 10 straight season of 100 or more starts in a, in a season at first base for the two-time Gold Glove winner, Albert Pujols. Halos uh, did make an announcement today before the game of roster moves. Matt Shoemaker was placed on the 10-day disabled list with a forearm strain. Parker Bridwell has been called up to replace him, and he will replace Shoemaker in the rotation. Parker will get the start Friday against the Oakland Athletics, the opener of that series. So he is available in the bullpen today, just in case. Hopefully that's not needed. Here's Lindor. Three for 17 to start the season. The first one tonight, a little bit upstairs. Jim Reynolds calling the balls and strikes. Mike DeMiro at first, John Tempain at second. Crew Chief Mark Wegner over at third base. Door last night, one for four with a single and a walk. That's a pretty good fastball. Just a little bit below the strike zone, though. 97, he went fastball upstairs, fastball downstairs. Both a little bit out of the strike zone. Two balls, no strikes. Starting the season, a week-long trip. Three in Seattle, three here before heading home. Boy, Victor, so important to be able to throw a slider in the fastball count, especially a dangerous hitter like Francisco Lindor. He was sitting fastball and still got a 90 mile an hour slider. That one, it almost drops like a splitter. Three balls, one strike. Of the season last year for Francisco Lindor. 33 home runs, 89 runs batted in. Switch it in shorts up. And he will work a walk. So leadoff man reaches. Yeah, the one negative thing for Richards up in Oakland was really his feel for his fastball. We've seen four fastballs out of the strike zone here. Not by a lot. But each one of them missed the strike zone. 
he had real good command with his slider. Same thing with his curveball for the most part. But command of the fastball wasn't as consistent as we saw certainly in spring training. Jason Kipnis at the plate. Cleveland second base hitting 188 to start the year with a double. Able looking to strike. Over Garrett last year limited to just six starts. Did not face the Cleveland Indians. The door pretty good lead at first. What a what? Rivera in his career behind the plate. He's going to have 36 percent of base dealers, including four back picks. The left-handed batter up. He always had that shot to back pick Lindor at first. Albert, one of the best as far as getting in position to apply a tag if there is a back pick. Second start of the year for Renee. Lead off walk to Lindor. One one to Kipnis flared out toward left field, tailing back toward up to he'll make the catch. Lindor heads back to first, one away. Good route there by Upton to be able to run that one down. It's a tail back towards him. The left-handed swing from Casey Kipnis. Here's Jose Ramirez, the third baseman. Hitless to start the season, 0 for 15. First one, first strike. And a lot of times the manager, especially when the hitters want to get that first hit, might have the door going in a hit and run where you shorten up your swing, so you got to be ready for that if you're the Angels. The door, good speed at first. Ramirez handles the bat very well. Two numbers from a season ago. His third, the MVP balloting. will rip this one out to deep right field. Cole going back at the wall. It's 2 0 Cleveland. Well, he picks up that first hit, and he does so in grand fashion. A two run shot. The Angels will play from behind. Richards doesn't give up many home runs, although it's the third home run he's allowed so far this season. You have a hitter 355 last Come season on, versus the fastball. We got a fastball there. And again, mislocation, drifted back out over the plate. Lower part of the strike zone, even though it's 97, that's right into that zone, that swing path for Ramirez to drive that one out to right field, two run home run. Gondor Alonso homered last night, second of the year. Ramirez, as we mentioned, picks up his first hit. Eighth home run hit by Cleveland, this being their fifth game. Check swing, went around, 0 2. He certainly kept saying on Twitter he was going to get a hit. Well, he made a count on that swing. You know, when you get a fastball, especially how well he hits a fastball, we mentioned 355 batting average versus it. I don't care how hard you're throwing it, if it's out over the plate and down, he's going to hit it hard, and he did. Dribbler. Richards has it. Two down. Edwin Encarnacion coming to the plate. This is what he did last night. Inside the park home run off the wall and left. This is what right down the line off the padding, right on that yellow line on the padding and kicked away from Justin Upton. And went cruising around. It was the high relay throw. If there was a little better relay throw in there, Anderson Simmons had a shot at him at the plate, no especially with that arm. No doubt. I will uh, swear to that. Just because of our vantage point here, you could see the play developing. And if that ball had been in, and in Anderson's uh, glove, it wouldn't have been a run. Broken bat, little one hopper, and it gets by Albert. That ball spun right by him. Albert gets charged with the error. One of those baseballs, too, where you're trying to think in terms of trying to get that before it hits the ground because of that spin on the baseball. And you see that spins right by Albert off the end of the bat. 
You know, that changed directions on him. Alvaro was caught almost in between trying to catch that in the air before it bounced. So the inning continues in a swing and a miss by Chisenhall. Had his mind made up. He was hacking first pitch. One for four. He has six nothing victory last night. Indians with seven hits. The Angels with six. Halo's down early. Two run home run by Jose Ramirez. We're the first. Seventeen pitches from him in this first inning for Richards trying to get through no more damage done trust the offense against Josh Tomlin Ten of those pitches of the 17 in the strike zone still when you look at fastball command early on not there was there in game one up in Oakland slider was fastball command not there yet Two balls, one strike. 17 pitches thrown. 18 pitches, pardon. 10 strikes, eight balls. And fastball off the plate, 3 1 count. Mild night, 65 degrees at first pitch. Very little breeze, if any at all. Three one. Second walk issue to the inning. It's becoming an issue for the Angels pitching staff. Quick visit now from Charles Nagy. This is an important part of the game, even though it's just the first inning. 24 walks issued by the Angels pitching staff. And that is over uh, exactly 47 innings. That includes tonight. And the thing is, Victor, when your your staff is there's not a ton of strikeout pitchers. That's the one thing you don't want to do is put extra runners on. Create soft contact with your breaking ball and even your fastball. Again, a lot of the great pitchers over the years have always struggled in that first inning out there. It's important for Richards to be able to limit this damage now, though. Two on, two outs. Roberto Perez, the catcher up. One ball, no strikes. John Gomes got the start behind the plate last night. The 29 year old Perez back there tonight. 73 games last year at 207 with eight home runs. Drove in 38. Cleveland one for two last night with men in scoring position. Four for 18 on the season. And Carnacion standing at second. Chisholm Hall at first. Trout shading Perez a little bit toward right center field. Everyone else pretty much straight up to a month. Boy, so far in this inning for Richards, he's thrown 14 fastballs. That was not a fastball there, but only five times he's thrown a fastball for a strike. Talked about that being important for him. The pregame show, the opening. Something you're saying mechanically or just a just release point? It's almost as if he's kind of guiding that fastball. With that type of movement he has, now obviously with two men on, it's a little bit different, especially after somebody hits a home run against you. But you, you have to trust movement. 
start the middle of the plate. He's starting those fastballs on corners, and it's going off the plate. You got to trust it's going to be starting at the middle of the plate and running off it. 2-2 Two -two popped up. Zach Kozar calling for it. Oh, he can't see it. Now Simmons, fortunately, was there. Simba's always in the right position. That would have cost the Angels a run, but Jose Ramirez gives Cleveland the early lead. 2-0 as we head to the bottom of the first. Ramirez two run home run. We'll take a look at Mike Sosha's lineup for game number six of the season with the Angels at three and two. Kozar will lead things off at second. Trout is in center field. Upton's in left. Pujols at first base. Calhoun in right. Simmons at shortstop. Valbuena at third. Otani at DH and Rivera batting ninth doing the catching. It's the 33 year old right hander native of Tyler Texas by the name of Josh Tomlin on the mound for Cleveland. He throws a lot of strikes and he works extremely fast. Go to is to be successful against Tomlin, who had a pretty solid season, a 10 game win the last year. This ERA just under five. You got to square up that cutter. He will throw a lot of cutters, over 30% of his pitches, cut fastballs, and think early swings as he throws a lot of first pitch strikes. Breaking ball, that's out towards center field. Zimmer's got to go back a couple of steps near the track. That ball has a carry to him. And hauls it in. First down at the bottom of the first. Before Trout steps up, take a look at the Indians defensively. Naquin Zimmer, Chisholm, Hall from left to right. Ramirez, Lindor on the left side. Kipnis and Alonzo on the right. Perez, Jose Ramirez has played a solid third base. He's played there five starts so far this year. He had 86 of them at third base. He's also played a number of games at short and at second. 100 plus career starts in all three of those infield positions and plays it well. Trout looks at a strike. Mike last night 0 for 3, drew a walk. 261 average, three doubles, a home run, four runs batted in. We'll leave it up to count the ball and a strike. Tomlin last year, 26 starts. You mentioned the 10 wins. 166 hits allowed, 141 innings. This one's out toward right center field. This one's carrying out toward the wall, and that one is off the wall. Home run. run. Big fly for Mike Trout is called by Mike DeMiro. Two to one Cleveland. We wondered how many extra home runs Trout would possibly get in this ballpark with the home run wall being lowered there with the yellow line. Curry Francona may take a look at it. Mike Murray was right there. It's our Arco top tier play of the game. He continues to have real good swings against Josh Tomlin going the other way and Trout. Above that yellow line for a home run, two to one game. 
There's the first one. Now six for ten in his career versus Tomlin. When you look at numbers versus fastball and cutter versus Tomlin last season, 309 batting average with 17 home runs allowed. Two balls, no strikes on Justin Upton. Two one Cleveland. Justin last night 0 for 2. A walk and a hit by pitch. 3 0. Expect Upton to be swinging here 3 0. Doesn't throw a lot of fastballs, Tomlin. There was one of them. Last year, 36% fastballs. Cutter over 30, curveball 24%. Also, his changeup. He's going to be around the zone. You mentioned it from the get go. 14 walks and 141 innings. 3 1, pull to left. Nate went over to cut it off with a pretty decent arm, and he'll hold up to do a single. That's a good decision by Alfredo Griffin. Right away, he was pointing to stay right at first base and just make that short turn for Justin Upton. Three pretty good swings against him early on. There's that fastball. He went down and got it and hooked it right down the line. Hey, can there be a situation where too many strikes can be a problem? And Tomlin, you look at his ERAs, never really kind of lived up to what we thought he was going to be. He's had some arm troubles and surgeries. But, I mean, 585 batters, you only walk 14. He's always throwing strikes. He had the lowest walk rate last year at baseball. Can that be a cause? Yes. I, I think if you're a pitcher, you throw a lot of strikes. I think the hitters crowd the plate because they don't have to worry about being wild and coming in and hitting you with pitches. He may pitch inside. He'll throw that cutter in on lefties. He'll also throw that indoor cutter against a right-handed batter. But when you don't throw a lot of pitches out of the strike zone, hitters, they're just track the baseball out over the plate. They're not in fear of getting knocked down. And one thing you can't do against Tom in a whole lot is that steal bases, though. Yeah. One stolen base in just two attempts as a right-handed pitcher. That's pretty impressive, considering how many base runners he had last year with the amount of hits he gave up. Very quick to the plate. Does all the little things well. No balls, two strikes on Albert. Over oh, four last night. Albert for his last 11. He's had some pitches to hit also. When you think about Tomlin, not many walks. He'll get his fair share of strikeouts. He's one of the top in games as far as strikeout per walks. 6.8, nearly 7 to 1 ratio as far as strikeouts to walks. Clayton Kershaw only better over the last five seasons. So a lot of strikes thrown, but the difference with Kershaw, though, he has that ability to back you off the plate with a fastball in the mid-90s. Tomlin's going to be in the mid to upper 80s. Watch out. There was that up and in fastball at 87. Now we've seen over the years, it never seems to work out well for a pitcher when you back Albert off the plate. Albert looking out over the plate. He had to force that pitch upstairs. You see how he drops his elbow to rush that fastball upstairs. Albert able to, able to get out of the way of that one. Again, that's coming down from the fact that he's throwing a lot of strikes. I'm looking out over the plate. That was kind of a late reaction on the fastball in. Trying to home run to right center field. Up to with a base at the left. Big hole on the right side. Kept the shading up the middle. Lindor towards the shortstop hole. Ramirez toward the line. They're going to pitch it back inside. That's upstairs. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, 23 home runs allowed last season for Tomlin. 
in 141 innings pitched. Pretty good at that work here for Alvin now be, was behind 0-2 had to fight off a pretty tough pitch. And all of a sudden, 3-2. Gotta believe Upton will be going here. Well, not easy to get a good jump, so it's gonna require Albert to put the ball in play or have a good eye if his pitch is out of the strike zone. Albert looking for his first career hit against Tomlin, 0 for 9. Upton goes, Albert bounces the foul. That goes again, 3 2, little number foul. That cutter, late action. Looks like a strike, ends up out of the strike zone. Anticipated always the key is the base runner going back. Go to that back corner of the base, a longer tag, especially for a right-handed thrown first baseman. That's the only reason why I was able to get back in on that back part of the base. Do it again. 3-2, a little broken back flare. That's going to fall in for a hit up there with a good read. We'll head to third. First career hit against Tomlin. Not exactly the rocket you're used to seeing from Albert, but he'll take that one. That was a pretty tough at bat he got. Worked in the 3-2. Fouled off some tough pitches. And Flair went in there in the right, in the left center field for base hit. Well, ninth pitch of the at bat. Albert picks up his 2973rd career hit. That's a strong man, because that's a pretty good pitch by Tomlin. Well placed. Cole Calhoun, five for eight in his career against Tomlin. Cole last night, 0 for 4. With the oh, no. shift on here, you, this is something you want to lift in the air. Handles last night, 0 for 6 with men in scoring position on the season. They're 273 as a team. Cole's numbers to start the year. Four for 21. Triple a home run. Two runs batted in. That's live to left center field. There's a base hit. They're tied at two. Pujols will stop at third base. He did draw the throw from Zimmer. And Cole picks up his third RBI of the season. And you can tell by that swing there, you're confident against a pitcher on the mound. And those numbers continue to get better. Six for nine now for Calhoun. Versus Tomlin. Stay back on that and lined it. Didn't try to do too much. Got a pitch upstairs. Lifted in the air. Line drive left center field. What a perfect swing there for Cole. That's the swing we saw all throughout spring training. You got three infielders on that right side. You stay back. Let the baseball travel. The confidence in that to get the barrel to bat and did so. Carl Willis, longtime pitching coach. Longtime pitching coach for the Cleveland Indians. Back in the organization. With Mickey Calloway. Now managing the New York Metropolitans. Off to a pretty good start there also in New York. 
my Hyundai key for the game today for the Angels to be successful against Tomlin and this Cleveland Indian ball club. Go a little up, down. Morgan Wallen, Florida Georgia line, up and down the lineup consistently. It also works for Garrett Richards, up in the strike zone with the fastball, down in the strike zone with the breaking ball. So two key components to try to break this losing streak for the Cleveland Indians. Up, down. There's Hamilton Simmons. One of four players in baseball to have a hit, at least a hit, first five games of the year. Brian Anderson, Starlin Castro, Elvis Andrews go along with Simmons. Nine for 20. No extra base hits yet. Four runs batted in. Pujols at second, Calhoun at first. He's going for that extra base hit right there. Got a cutter right in the middle of the plate. Now the thing is with Anilton, he does such a good job at adjusting as the at bat progresses. That cutter right there, he'll stay back and he'll shoot that ball to right center field. 1-0, he was thinking in terms of giving the Angels a three-nothing, a three-run lead here. Reaching forward, Ramirez has to come in on him. Goes to apply the tag. Albert is out. For out number two. Albert's wondering he's saying did he even get tagged there? Or was he out of the baseline? That's what he wants to know. So he tags it with the glove, but the baseball is not in the glove there. That's what Albert's asking about. See right here, he takes the baseball out because he's thinking about making a throw. He does not tag him with the baseball. See right here, baseball's out of the glove, tags him with the glove. It doesn't look like the baseball is applied to the jersey or, or arm of Albert. Yeah, but it looked as if Mark Wegner was originally motioning the fact that Albert had left the uh, the runner's lane, if you will. No, but it's one of those things where he had no choice because they're fielder there. No argument, though. They didn't challenge. Simmons reaches on the fielder's choice. Two outs. Calhoun at second, Andleton over at first. Luis Valbuena hitting 167 to start the year. Going back to that play by Jose Ramirez. You see the tag. There's no tag with the baseball there. Now, is he out of the baseline right there? He has no choice but to try and avoid a tag. Well, Buena in a good count. 2 0. See, by the reaction by Luis Valbuena, his timing not quite there yet. Frustrated. Trying to tell himself to stay back, let the baseball travel a little bit more. So that was a cutter. Try to get him a chase of change up. Foul point out, hooks a foul. Got into the dugout, maybe the camera will. Hopefully, nobody was hurt down there. Clevenger trying to get out of the way of that one. Threw the ball exceptionally well last night. Runners beyond the move here. A chance for both runners to score with a gapper here for Valbuena. That is hooked down the line, but foul. This one going into the seats.
both pitchers with quite a few pitches thrown. Common already 31. Shohei Otani on deck. Love to be able to come up here with some runners on. Kept us out at shallow right with the shift on. Runners go again. 3 2, foul back. Just like Garrett Richards threw a lot of pitches in the top of the first. Angels making Tomlin work here at the bottom of the inning with 30 so far. 32, pardon me. Already with 32 pitches thrown. He's a guy last season didn't throw a whole lot of pitches per start. So it's going to be a bullpen. A little less than 81 pitches per start last year. So the bullpen will be used today for Cleveland. And he walked him. So Shohei Otani will come to the play with the bases loaded. Designated hitter number 17, Shohei Otani. Second start at DH. Nice round of applause. Many along the uh, first base line behind the Angels dugout standing. Wanted to check out the first plate appearance. Base is loaded with two outs. The first one. It's down and in. Thought he might try a cutter because remember that first base hit he got was on the first pitch he saw. Tomlin anticipating him maybe being aggressive. Good take there. By Otani on that cutter off the plate. This place will go bonkers if he left the yard. Oh. So this booth might be the same way too. Did not have an extra base hit in spring. One for five with a single. And pull this a foul. You no, know, he never had a grand slam in Japan. 48 career home runs in Japan. Calhoun over at third. Simmons at second. Val Boyne at first. One ball, one strike. Breaking ball. He chases it. That's a pretty good one at 74 miles an hour. You're geared up to do some damage. And a nice slow curveball by Talman against him. See what adjustment here Shohei makes now. Here comes the one two. There another one. Breaking ball gets away. Calhoun will come in to score and the Angels lead it three to two. Right, we're right back to that slow curveball once again. And unable to keep that in front. Perez tried to backhand that one. All you can hope for is it hits the body and stays in front. Shohei, the eighth man to come to the plate here in the bottom of the first inning. Three, two Angels. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Or some would say deuces wild. Now the 2-2. Tied him up with a fastball. He's cutting that fastball inside. First at bat here at the big A for Otani. Couple runners in scoring position. That's out toward right center field. Going back on it is Zimmer at the wall. Gone! Big fly, Otani son!
<laughs> that is awesome. Down the line, foul. <laughs> oh, we I say told that the you this place would go nuts if he goes deep. We felt something magical tonight. He showed it on Sunday. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Think think anybody who still wants to talk about spring training numbers? <laughs> What a moment. That was great when he went back in the dugout and looking around. Hey, I just hit a home run my first at bat here. Silent treatment. <laughs> I guarantee it, Trout had nothing to do with that. Oh. You know he was screaming showtime as soon as he got out. Six to two halos. Rivera reaching for it. Count remains no balls and two strikes. Oh, what a buzz still going on here at the stadium. Rivera skies went out to center. Zimmer calling for it. The Angel send nine men to the plate and the capper in all of this. Shohei Otani, first start at home. Did not disappoint. A breaking ball to right center field. His teammates love him so much they gave him the silent treatment. We're headed to the second. The Angels leading it six to two. <laughs>well, it's not too often Mike Trout is overshadowed after homering in an inning to draw the Angels a little bit closer. But uh, that just happened.
We Shohei Otani with a three-run blast to cap the six-run bottom we were, of the we first. We were wowed up there in Oakland as pitching performance. To have your first at bat at the Big A hit a three-run home run, that's unbelievable. Man, oh, man. Naquin, Zimmer, Lindor. Eight, nine, and one against Garrett Richards, who's fallen behind here. Two balls, no strikes. Garrett, not without his own issues in the first. A couple of walks and a two-run home run allowed. Now he falls behind at 3 and up. Again, that fastball right there, it starts on the corner with his movement. It ends up off that outside corner. You have to trust the plate and then run to the corner with that movement. Here comes the 3-1. That's a pretty good indication how good your fastball is. It's a fastball count 3-1 and the hitter's late on it. You have to trust the fastball to set up your secondary pitches if you're Garrett. Three, two, called strike three. Down goes Naquin, first strike out of the night. Best fastball of the game so far, even though it's early in the game, the 31st pitch, best one for Richards, paints the corner, 97. Started on the plate and rounded a corner with a punch out. Well, Bradley Zimmer coming to the plate, one out. We welcome in Jose Moda, is going to be uh, sitting through with us on tonight's broadcast. And Jose, uh, where. Did you want to jump in there and give some high fives to, uh, to Shohei after that home run? I wanted to get through the gate here real soon. <laughs> Boy, Jose, you, you remember it, you know, that last game at, at Dodger Stadium, the freeway series, saw it in spring training, the difference as far as the leg kick and the stride, huge difference for Otani at the plate. Yeah, but you know, I'll tell you what I saw down here was as the inning progressed, he was talking to more and more of the players that faced Tomlin. And he's doing a little homework. Guys are doing hand gestures as to maybe what the cut fastball is doing, maybe what the off speed is doing, and perhaps he took all that information. You see him adjust one pitch to the other before connecting in a very smooth swing and gets him lift off. Back to back strikeouts now for Garrett. Yeah, Jose, we talked a lot about Richards and his, the need for him to step forward as the, the number one, the ace of this staff. And he gave him a six to two lead. Now all of a sudden he's getting locked back in. You're seeing a little more comfortable drive towards the plate here for Richards. Victor, keep in mind, also between innings, conversation not so much between Richards and Rivera. It was more between Maldonado and Rivera on setting up perhaps maybe a little bit differently uh, behind the play with Richards on the mound. That's an aggressive fastball there, too. And he's got a time. There are times, there have been times for uh, Garrett where Overthrowing, especially early on in his career, was an issue. But now it seems like he's getting that break. He's got a pretty good feel for the breaking ball. Right? I'm loving the pace he has yeah. right now. He's got that angry look about yeah. him. That's what you want from your ace of your staff. That's an angry look. There you go. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Three strikeouts here in the top of the second inning. I do believe that's a, a pretty good shutdown inning. <laughs> that is good as it gets.
Richards there at the top of the inning three strikeouts and uh, Gooby Jose we, you guys mentioned it towards the end there the, the tempo the uh, the appearance of wanting to just go out there and just really almost throw pitches through Rene Rivera Victor he, he needs to have that he needs to have keep in mind aces guys top of the rotation needs to go out there and shut the door when you have again a four run lead like he did not Cozart popping this one into foul territory Perez the call of the catch one down his pace was outstanding all the way through and speaking of pace Mike Trout <laughs> we haven't talked about Trout <laughs> we always <laughs> pretty bad oh by the way that's what Mike did and again with the new home run wall here in right center field we talked about Trout would pick up a couple during the season well he picked up one already here second game at the big A with the wall lower going the other way with that swing on the cutter Look at Trout's career versus a cut fastball. An outstanding career numbers. 349 with 23 home runs. That's coming into the game versus a cutter. But, I mean, that's outstanding when you think about it. And Jose is a hitter with Trout's swing path. Don't you think that just plays right into his perfect swing? That cutter out over the plate to the barrel of the bat. It goes right into it. I mean, that's the idea there. He's going to get jammed at times. And He's not afraid of doing that, but uh, even if he's late on anybody throwing, even a hard cutter, he's going to be able to barrel it up. There's one game in spring training towards the end when the, he had four balls off the label. And we got to uh, the freeway series, and I said, Mike, my comment was, my commentary was, seems like you are ready. He goes, I need to be exactly there to get the season going. It's jammed and lifts this one out to left field. Naquin is there. Just in and up on the hands to, uh, to jam it. In other words, Victor, off the end of the bat, way more dangerous to take into a regular season than, of course, being just a tat late. Yep. Mike Sosha is going to have uh, Andrew Bailey downstairs. Just take a look and make sure Naquin controlled the baseball. The ball dropped, and I think it was just on the transfer. No argument from Soch. Yeah, remember a couple years ago that would have been that would have been that would have been a man at second. Oh, Josh, Josh, Josh Hamilton yeah, in Seattle. Seattle. That yep. Was, that was one of the worst rule changes. It was like three days after that victory, they said, "You know what? We're gonna yeah. review that." Yeah, I like the fact that they did change that right away. Upton with a base at the left field, one for one. One one. That's driven out toward right center field. Zimmer moving back, pulls up, gone. Big fly for Justin Upton. Third hit by the Angels tonight. Seven two Halos. Well, we saw that power on display last season with seven home runs, 35 on the year. Going with that cut fastball again, staying back, drive the ball. He had a couple really good shots even in spring training in the right center field. He is an extremely strong hitter, and he hits the ball very well the other way. He gets that one out to right center field. That's just tremendous power. One thing about Upton, another guy that is a little stiffer than Trout with the finish, but certainly he gets to the extension point when he needs to with two hands with a great follow through. Reaction so they uh, right here to my left of that dugout. A lot of action. Not bad. First of the year for Upton. Two for two on the night. And Albert, one for one, had a base hit out to left in the first inning. And Jose, you saw that all in spring training and a couple times down there ourselves. That the the group it is here, the 25-man roster, they really like playing together. They feel something special could happen if they could stay healthy. More than one guy said there's an edge here to get off to a good start, an urgency to get off to a good start, which Mike Social will never talk about, but the guys feel it. 
squeezing now. One is Alonzo, and the Angels are done here at the second. They had a run on Justin Upton's first of the year. We'll head to the third. Halo's on top, seven to two. Ford dealers by Carl's Jr. The Western Bacon Cheeseburger is calling your name, little buddy. Pick it up. Halo's up by the score of 7-2 to two as we begin the third. Victor Rojas along with Mark Gubiza and Jose Moda is joining us down in the uh, camera well by the Angels dugout. Garrett Richards coming off a 1-2-3 second in which he struck out the side. Gipnis, Ramirez, and Alonzo here in the third for Cleveland. Birthday today, turned 31 for Jason Kipnis. Ground ball toward third, and Balbuena, nice play going to the backhand. That ball almost ate him up. That's it's never easy when that ball redirects, right, Jose? Never easy, especially from a left seat. When you see that inside-out swing, the ball's going to be hard at you, and all of a sudden, be ready to turn that glove, and that's exactly as you see that ball get right on Balbuena. And that spin going away as the left-handed batter's the third base, and it's a hot corner. That was a quick... Shot at him with spin. You can see him pointing that way, spinning away from him. And best thing, Victor, he was low to the ground to react. The worst thing you can do there is be standing up and before you know it. You better stab at the ball and before you know that. It's right by him. Now one thing we know about uh, Jose Ramirez that 0 for 15 at one point was going to go away. This guy is. Solid baseball player. Yeah, 355 versus a fastball last season. Got the fastball, even though it was a firm fastball, 97 from Richards drives it out the right center field. Could have easily been called the strike slider upper part of the strike zone. Ramirez with a two run home run of the first, first hit of the season. The third walk issued by Garrett. Ty Van Berkeley used to be with the Angels for many years. He's our hitting coach, and one thing he was sharing with me with guys like Richards, he wants to remind his hitter, especially when you saw the approach on Lindor, Kipnis, Ramirez in the first inning, let Richards provide all the power for you. 
When we saw the good at bats, quiet approach, Lindor, Kibnis, Ramirez, and again with Ramirez here, just to remind himself, don't try to over produce a power, let it come from the guy on the mound, throwing 97 miles an hour. Good off speed pitch. Always a good idea to throw Alonzo a breaker ball first pitch. He's up there hacking a lot. And some good numbers on that first pitch, especially on a fastball. And his approach has not been as quiet as the guys I previously talked about. Been a little jumpier, getting to Richards. But it's one of those breaking balls, though, if you're throwing it to him. It's not a get it over breaking ball. Because with that new swing path that Alonzo has, we saw it last night, he can uh, do some damage with it. You got to make sure that it's it's enough off the breaking ball and down. Yeah, you want to, especially even now, you want to bounce it. All right, went around, tied him up. I did six. I mean, you can see it. <laughs> Little jumpy is going to beat him. And I have a great view from here just to talk about depth and bite and then velocity upstairs. Ouch. You know, Richards always says it's a four seam fastball. It's not a cutter, but that ball cut like a true cut fastball. 96. Again, we talked about, you remember we talked about it in the pregame show, Jose, about when you're throwing a fastball, if you're going to miss, miss off the plate. And that's exactly what he did. He got a punch out with it. And what was that? That is just a devastating pitch by Garrett Richards. <laughs> And Carlson was probably wondering. 91. Edwin reached on the air by Albert. His first time up. See Edwin's reaction there. He saw it once. Knew exactly what to look for. Or if the pitch started in a certain spot to hold his bat. Ramirez over at first with one out. We're in the third. Pardon me, two outs. Oh, Victor Encarnacion is one of the best trivia questions in baseball today. Only hitter with 30 homers or more the last six seasons. Most people would not even guess Edwin Encarnacion. A man who was on the... Uh, the waiver wire multiple times <laughs> yes. before he settled in in Toronto. Pulls that one foul. Now it's time for the Kia drive to success. Speaking of Edwin Encarnacion in the home runs over the last six seasons at the top of the list. Mike Trout, fifth as far as the home run total over the last six seasons. 231 for Edwin Trout, 196. Two balls, two strikes. Overthrow, breaking ball, full count. Carnacion started his career. Remember the Texas Rangers organization that went to Cincinnati the following season. Third base, first base, DH. Bears will take off with the pitch. Yes, he did. Two more strikeouts for Garrett Richards. Has five in the game. We'll head to the bottom of the third. Halos on top.
T-Mobile is built for baseball from the bleachers to the backyard. Your stadium is where you make it with T-Mobile. 7-2 Halos. Bottom of the third. Jared Richards, five strikeouts, three walks. One hit allowed. That was the home run to Ramirez in the first. Calhoun, Simmons, Valbuena. Cole pulls this one foul. Cole with a real good swing. His first at bat. Stay back in baseball. The shift all lines it to left center field for an RBI single. Shift on again against Cole. So that's a pretty good pitch. When you have the shift on, you throw a change up like that. That forces a hitter to be out in front. Then you're going to pitch into that shift. Throw a fastball or cutter away, you're pitching against it. We'll chase that breaking ball. Cole will be retired by Perez. One down. First strike out of the night for Tomlin. Fact about Anderson as good as the season was. Eighth in the AL MVP voting. It's outstanding. Put up career numbers on the offensive side, won another gold glove. Oh, one count here to Anderson Simmons again, going back to that curveball. We mentioned the numbers. For Tom in last season, 231 batting average against him on his changeup and curveball with six home runs allowed, but the fastball and cut fastball, 309 batting average with 17 home runs allowed. Ground ball to the right side. Two down. Brings up Luis Valbuena. It was Valbuena's walk, which doesn't happen often. Kind of set up a bases loaded two out situation for Otani. There was a wild pitch that allowed Cole to come in to score. And then Otani, of course, hit the uh, three run home run. That's pretty good patience, too, for Luis. When you think about it, when you have RBIs out there as a run producer throughout your career, you have a tendency to expand the strike zone a bit and you want to drive the ball, but good takes there. Louis was telling me before the game, you know, his approach today was going to be about playing pepper. He goes, I feel good. I feel so good sometimes. I'm swinging way too hard. And as simple as that sounds, it is pretty much a player's reminder to just square the baseball. Don't try to break it in two. Doesn't have to. And then it'll help as you guys are talking about the takes. I mean, the way he took the off speed there is not looking like a guy that's swinging too hard because he's gradually working back. And I know there's a generation out there that doesn't know what plain pepper is. <laughs> so we must try to explain it. It's because of all the stenciled <laughs> on the walls that says no pepper allowed. Incredible. That's launched out to right center. No doubt about it. Big fly for Luis Valbuena. Play pepper, amigo. There's some pepper. That had some sound. And some distance out of there for Luis. Again, tracking some pitches out of the strike zone. His last at bat results in a solo shot here in the third inning. First home run, second RBI, second extra base hit of the season for Luis Valbuena. In an opportunity to swing a lot early on here. Got that little slider. And still a pretty good bat flip. Not epic yet for Luis. But a home run way out to right center field. A lot of souvenirs out to right center field. Yeah. Shohei looks at a strike. Twenty-two home runs last year. Luis picks up his first. That's oh, a one. And that is ripped off the glove of Kipnis and in the right. 
first multi-hit game of his major league career for Shohei Otani. Boy, you, you've seen a lot more patience and a lot more confident hitter right now. But wait, he's halfway to the cycle, oh, Gooby. No. <laughs> Why wouldn't he do that? We know he runs well. Here's what I'm waiting on. Exit velocity on that line drive. I mean, that almost took Kipnis all the way back to right field. Look how he stayed back on that cutter. This time he tried that cutter in, but got the inside corner and said off the plate in. Knocks it off the glove. Base hit for Otani. What a start to this game for Otani. After getting shut down yesterday, the Angels know on the mound today, a guy that allowed a lot of base hits last year is going to be around the zone, and they're truly taking advantage of that. After a shutout, man, you got to look for somebody that induces into a lot of contact, and the Angels have found it. Four home runs hit already. We're in the third inning. Yep. Angels came into play tonight with four home runs on the season. Alex Curry had a nice conversation with Angels hitting coach Eric Hinsky. Just about that. He's talking about having guys hit the ball in the air. On the corner, two balls, one strike. Some real good carry here today to right field, right center field. Yeah, when you lift the baseball up like that, Jose, you're going to have some pretty good numbers, pretty good distance. And that's what we've seen early on for the Halos here. Two one. Two balls, two strikes. Renee with a fly ball to center in the first one for one. In the meantime, to my left, a quiet, alone Garrett Richards. With that vision getting more and more intense, knowing it's all about him right now. Well, well. And that's one thing you always worry about in that dive back to first base for Shohei Otani. You have that pitching hand and arm exposed for the first baseman trying to feel the ball. If it's a low throw, step on the hand. That's a pretty good lead over there. Pick up his first stall base. Mike Sosha was asked that in spring trading. We know he can run. And he asked, are you going to give him the green light to steal the base? And, and the typical Mike Sosha just kind of looked at you and, and didn't say a word. That was good enough to say, well, probably not. 13 feet. That's, that's a big lead. And I would, while well, he's going to be on the move now, yeah. I would have been shocked. An eight, eight to two lead here with Shohei at first. I think we we're just content to see how well he runs from first to third. And he can actually take a more conservative lead here with a guy with a good move here as he has to make sure that ball is delivered to home plate. He takes off for Veras. Guys, this one at the shallow center. Zimmer is there. Tell you what, he's got some great strides. <laughs> That's what I want when he watching the fly ball. I was watching Otani run the bases. That's ridiculous. Valbuena goes deep out to right center field. Fourth angel tonight to Homer. Halo's up 8 to 2.
done as we start the fourth eight to two angels Garrett Richards back out on the bump and it's Chisholm Hall leading things off looks at a strike five strikeouts three walks for Garrett one hit allowed that was the home run to Ramirez in the first and your mindset right now for Richards it's a zero zero game if you're in attack mode you want to keep that good pace we've seen the last couple of innings five punch outs last two innings line towards center trout has to go back on it he'll put it away for the first down well going to break we were talking about Shohei he was on the move on the three two pitch to Rene Rivera I don't know if this does it justice because from where we saw it. those strides are unbelievable those you're down in the camera well he's coming at you not too often you see a DH with two outs running that hard on a ball put in play. No, you gotta respect that. That's just the way he was taught to play the game. Remember Devon White with those great yeah. long strides like that. No balls in a strike. Roberto Perez is 0 for 1 with a pop up. Pretty consistent, 97, 98 with his fastball. Getting a little bit better command. That one, he overthrew that one, but his fastball command much better the last couple of innings for him. Victor, here's what I, from this angle is clearly on his front leg. He's still fighting some things on the way he's landing over the slope. That's where you see some inconsistencies here with a couple of pitches up in the zone and perhaps overthrowing some breaking balls. A little work in progress as to where he needs to be. Well, you've seen now over the last couple of innings some very defensive and odd swings from Indians hitters. That ball is disappearing. Two balls, two strikes. A chopper to short. Van telling him to swing, and he did. Hey, join your Angels this Saturday, April 7th. Oakland A's are in town for game two of that three game set. The 6 07 start. Be sure to stay and enjoy the post game Saturday night fireworks show. It's presented by Wells Fargo. For more information on that, just go to angels.com. Saturday night, right? Oh, yeah, it's a Saturday night fireworks show. Wow. Appropriately named. So it was a busy. Post game walk off after that. Yeah, it's loud out there. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Very loud underneath the hats. The uh, fireworks are going off. And busy. Oh, it just missed off the plate. Nate Quinn, who struck out looking in the second. He started out the first 12 batters of the game for Richards. The six first pitch strikes since that point. He's faced five, four times he's thrown a first pitch strike. See a little calm down with both hands to my left here, Charles Nagy, as Richards takes a peek into the engine's dugout. And pretty much a signal, just come out there and play catch. Times when you see a pitcher shake like that, that's by design. The catcher will give you that sign to shake your head, and then you know exactly what pitch you want to go with. And Billy throw a slider in a fastball count, and it would have been a strike anyhow, and still no contact made. I'll tell you what, the Angels are pretty lucky having two catchers like Martin Maldonado and Rene Rivera. They are both totally into the game. Great defensive catchers, good throwing arms. Gooby and good fakers. That was a bit of a fake to a hitter. When a hitter says or glimpses at a catcher pumping his fist, what is he thinking? 
Fastball. That's right. And what did he throw? Slider. That's, that's a perfect pitch. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes on Martin Maldonado do the same thing. Swatter's glove on the dirt, alerting the third baseman. Maybe off speed's coming, just to make sure that hitter, if he's peaking, gets thrown off. Yeah, it's one of those old adage. A lot of times when they put down a sign, you shake it off, and if you have that emphatic yes, that means it's always, at least hitters think, it's always going to be a fastball. Three, two, and that was an emergency hat. I'm good. I'm covered. I love that netting there, by the way. That that's that would have been in the stands quickly. That's a good idea having that protective netting going down there. Love that. All about fan safety. Yeah, the nets have already come into play in the first two games. And the ball in right center field in the game today. Mike got Trout. Payoff. And I just got a piece of that one. Victor, is there any question who was going to be the first guy in regular season to hit a ball just over the yellow wall? It just seemed yellow, like huh? uh, tonight would have been like <laughs> the perfect guy or perfect night because of the guy that was on the mound. It's Tomlin, the cutters for a right handed hitter to go that way. And we've seen it. Trout upped it. Upped it going that way. Had to be Trout. Had to be Trout. Yep. Flair for the dramatic. Birthdays. Mom's birthdays. His birthdays. He has home runs. And a two out walk. Fastball just missed low at 97. So four walks now issued by Garrett. Still has himself an 8 2 lead. Okay, you guys were talking about Tomlin. Remember, two years ago, this he gave about 36 home runs. Curveball. That's the thing. He doesn't throw his changeup anymore. So his curveball works as his off speed pitch, especially against a lefty. Straight down, a 12 to 6 break to it. One ball, one strike on Zimmer. Struck out looking at the second. <laughs> Chopper up the middle. Simmons is there. One four shot. Make win. In the third out. We have the bottom of the fourth. Top of the order coming up for the Angels. Halo is up 8 2.
Fox and FS1. It's a new season with new superstars. Fridays starting this June. It's the bottom of the fourth inning. Halo's up by the score of eight to two, and they've chased the starter, Josh Tomlin. This is Dan Otero. Those Angels begin their uh, third time through the order. Goes Eric bouncing this one over to third. Ramirez has it. Well, down Zach is over three so far. That's the one thing you'll see a lot against Otero, a lot of ground ball action. He's got that power sinker, 89-92, throw a slider changeup. He's like real good career numbers against the Angels. In his career, ERA 1.21 for Otero. Takes over for Tomlin, who went three innings, gave up eight hits, four home runs, one strikeout, one walk, eight runs all earned. First time in the Tomlin's career, which he allowed four home runs in a game. It's also the first time in his career he threw 44 pitches in an inning. John a home run to right center field the first to fly ball to left in the second. So he runs that fastball in at two seamer. What hitters are getting used to now is just a different release point and also the shortness of Otero's arm compared to Tomlin. And of course, different stuff, different break. Chopper to short. Now, what can you do as a hitter, especially considering a, a guy like Otero's got good numbers against the Angels? When you transition from an offense that's put up eight runs, four home runs, and all of a sudden you're, you got a sinker baller that you haven't had much success against, Jose. The first thing you do is get an idea as to what the sinker ball is doing, so you're going to be patient, but also carry the confidence into the batter's box that today, it doesn't matter who's on the mound, if you see a strike, you will hit it hard somehow. You know, the mental momentum you got to carry into the batter's box. Then, of course, if that sinker is getting in out of your hands, you might want to get off the plate. For lefties, the opposite. If it's running too much, you want to, might want to crowd the plate until he proves to you that he can pound you inside. Justin Upton with a multi-hit game. Single and run score of the first. Solo shot. With two outs in the second. First home run of the year. Now it's time for the key drive to success. I'm sorry, now it's time for the Coors Light refreshing finish. Fastball out over the plate, the finish on the follow through of the swing, right center field for a home run. First season for Justin Upton. Missed off the plate. Otero sits the Angels down in order. We head to the fifth inning. Eight to two Angels.
More than a great deal on all new Hyundai vehicles. See your Hyundai dealer today. And by Jack in the Box. Try the new Brunchfest Country Scrambler Plate with Jimmy Dean Sausage Links. Only at Jack in the Box. Eight to two Angels, top of the fifth. There have been some fireworks on this Tuesday night. Angels were shut out last night. Not so tonight. Four home runs thus far. Garrett Richards after giving up the uh, two-run home run in the first inning. He settled down. The walks a little of a concern with four of them. He struck out five. He'll face one, two, three. Lindor, Kipnis, and Ramirez to start the fifth. There's a key inning for him because the pitcher at 74, he knows that threshold. You don't want to be able to. you got to be able to just go out there and think. You can go a little bit deeper and help your bullpen out. It's all on Garrett Richards. Fastball for a strike. Lindor, a walk with a run scored. And a strikeout. 0 for 1. He's thrown a lot of breaking ball, a lot of curve balls tonight. And he's had a good feel for that, especially yeah. we talked about that earlier and even in the pregame show about the need to be able to throw that to let some left-handed batters. But again, what I'm seeing of late, that fastball is trusted and trusted movement that it's not going to stay middle of the plate. That's a pretty good slider. So he goes fastball away. Slider at 89 on the inside corner against a very good hitter in Lindor. Punched him out, last it back on a break of ball in the dirt. What were you saying? Punched him out, last it back, and miss it back on the break of ball in the dirt. And that's the perfect thing for G. Rich. Get ahead with two strikes. Don't waste pitches. Don't throw a lot. As you can see that pitch right there, this curveball, the finger, the index finger is off the baseball, the snap action on the curveball in the dirt to get a swing and miss. And going back, you see that finger right there off the baseball. That creates that downward action on this curveball. The index finger off. You'll see a lot of times you'll see somebody will throw a knuckle curve where you have the knuckle and the nail in the baseball, then snap over the front of the baseball to get better rotation in that curveball, different grip than his slider grip. Garrett has told me through the years, it goes back to his college years and how he started with people that spike. And eventually, pitching coach said, just get your finger up. You have enough arm speed to go out there and snap it down. It's really amazing. When you throw the baseball, most pitchers, most of the times, you put all the pressure on the middle finger anyhow. Very rarely do you ever see anybody pitcher out ever complain about a blister on the index finger. It's always the middle finger. You put all that pressure with the seams of the baseball, especially when you're throwing a break a ball. You want that rotation of the seams more so than you're going to go with a two-seam fastball. Valbuena over to cut it off, does so. <laughs> Two down. And Victor, noticeably in Oakland, one of the issues that I don't know G. Rich wanted to take care of was uh, two strikes. Three for 11 were the A's against him. That's uh, not what you want to see with a guy that his stuff and the way it plays out with the way we've seen it here when he gets ahead into two strikes. Career with two strikes for Garrett Richards, 175, which is just around MLB average. And to me, my opinion, it could be even better than that. Certainly when you have the stuff that Richards has. For sure. 97, 98, and how sharp that slider is. It's 89, 90, 91, and it's 82, 83 with his curveball. Take me back to uh, 2014 when Richards went 13 and 4 with two strikes. The opposing batters hit 151. That tells you why the record. Reflected that. That's a hitter who finally got his first hit of the season on a home run. <laughs> He's thinking fastball 2-0. I'm down. The team's down 8-2. to He's got to throw me a fastball. No. Break a ball. I don't like that mentality. Keep in your mind like it's 0-0 zero, zero ball game. Three one. Full count.
here's where Ramirez is going, okay, I've seen everything, but really I cannot sit on anything at this point. As a hitter, the best thing you do here is get your head down and just look zone and protect. Don't make it too wide of a view for you. Oh, he got him to chase. That's like a splitter, that yep. slider. <laughs> I mean, that started middle of the plate and ran down and away. What a pitch by Richards. He is dealing now. Angels up. Keep it two. Holes count down to 3,000 action figure courtesy of Muscle Maker Grill while supplies last. For more information, just head over to angels.com. Pujols, Calhoun, Simmons. The bottom half of the fifth, Albert with one hit tonight. 2,973 in his career. In case you were wondering about the ball that Shohei hit, Reading them. This one's hit to the right side. Nice piece of hitting by uh, Albert. That's really solid, yeah. Albert. He's been pulling off the baseball. Tim Brown of uh, Yahoo Sports has reported that the ball that Otani hit for the home run ended up in the hands of a nine-year-old boy in right center field. The boy and his dad are going to meet with Otani after the game. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool awesome. to be able to get a yeah. chance. Alex Curry may get an opportunity to be able to talk to the youngster. How great of a thrill that's going to be to be able to give that baseball to Shohei Otani, his first major league home run and his first at bat here. Halfway to the cycle. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, as we talk about youngsters making their way to the baseball stadiums, how about that story, huh? No doubt. You just felt the buzz today for yeah. some reason. This felt something special was going to happen. So far, so good. Cole one for two, RBI single with a run scored. Shift on there, a lot of room, especially with a sinker ball pitcher going that sinker down and away can play into the swing for Cole. It looked like that's what he was trying to do, let the baseball travel, hit the ball that way. Two for five in his career. 
versus Otero for Cole Calhoun. Off speed pitch, a little dribbler. Otero thought about going to second. One away. Addington Simmons, our player spotlight, and what a special player the Angels have gotten with him, of course. Eighth in voting in the AL, which surprised him as he told me in spring trading. 348 now against the Indians in his career. Five for six with two strikes. Absolutely remarkable for Simba. In one of three shortstops to win a gold glove in both leagues. The other, Omar Vizquel, of course, and former Angel Orlando Cabrera. Simmons is 0 for 2. By the way, Simmons in his career in the minor leagues won a batting title, which today he was talking to me about. About what a tough league that was. I think he won the title with a like 311 average. Not gonna A ball. Tell you what, he was great with runners in scoring position last season. What 320 batting average for Simba. Part of that tray, Eric Ibar, Sean Newcomb, Chris Ellis. Ibar looking for a job. Yeah, we were just talking about that. It was with the twins, right? Yep, spring training. He was always one of our favorites. Yeah. You talk about a guy that played the game hard. He was a tough, tough player. Smart. Very good shortstop. Except Gold Glover himself. You know, smart player. That is lined down the left field line and headed toward the corner. Pujols will score easily and Simmons. With an RBI double. That's his first extra base hit of the season. And now with a six game hitting streak. And another base hit with a runner in scoring position. Talk about bringing your hands inside that baseball to turn on that one and get it down the line for an RBI. Fifth RBI. Runs it in, brings his hands in, and still able to get the barrel of the bat. Opened up those hips. So often, Jose, we talk about those two toe taps. Be able to clear the hips, one, two, and then turns on it down the line. So what Simba's really been a great student and prior to information provided to him by baseball operations and soft contact, hard contact approach in which zones. I mean, he has turned his career around as a hitter because of he's able to apply Victor all that information, and he has. Yep. He's become a very respectable hitter. The ball was strike on Valbuena. Walked and scored at the first. Solo home run at the third. First of the year. Real good at bats tonight so far for Valbuena. Good walk. Played off some tough pitches and picked up his first first home run of the season. His second at bat. Get another good take. That's a pretty good changeup running down and away. He's tracking the ball very well today. See 18 pitches so far in this game for Luis Valbuena. In three at bats. Nice second walk. Oh, Shohei Otani coming to play. His first at bat worthy of a Carl's Cam replay. Go a little pitch by pitch. A little off speed, a little cutter in. Another cutter off the inside part of the plate. Then a big slow curveball out in front of that one. Curveball again in the dirt with the bases loaded. Allow one to score. 
fouled off another cut fastball in and then was ready for the curveball. 74 mile an hour curveball. Exit velocity, 100.5 miles per hour. The distance just under 400 feet, 397 at the standing ovation for Shohei Otani. Getting that first hit in Oakland, he <laughs> admitted that was a big load off my shoulders. And boy, getting that first home run, unbelievable feeling that will be for him. And he can go the other way yeah. too, Vic. <laughs> You have your glove down there, uh -huh. Jose. Hey, and, and he just apologized to Dino Ebel, who had to duck. <laughs> Dino's still quick. Cat-like. A few of those shirts around the stadium here. No balls, two strikes. Simmons at second, Valbuena at first. Got him with a two-seam fastball. Otani is out number two. Two pitch going to a two seamer, throwing it at the hip and trying to bring it back. Just a little bit off that inside corner frame well by Perez behind the plate. I tell you what, something bigger. The only other time Otani saw that type of pitch was a spring training against Bartolo Colon. Rivera, 0 for 2, with a couple fly balls to center. Cologne last night, solid six innings for he was really good. Texas, 44 years old. And you know, was it like a, a billion fastballs there, too? That's the thing. What would he, we saw last night, what is over 80% of his pitches were fastballs? Yeah. Yeah, They've got a decision to make. They're not sure if they're going to keep him around, but you've you got to kind of somehow find a way for him, right? Or I found out, too, there's about 10 scouts from different organizations behind the plate just watching Bartolo. Yeah. What do you need to keep, what, keep it a close eye as to what the Rangers will do with them? What do you need to scout Bartolo for? I mean, the, the, the scouting report's the same. All it is is the velo's down. He's going to throw a ton of strikes and he's going to throw a ton of fastballs. That's pretty much it, right? He's all the same. He's going to be around the zone. Yep. At times, as we know, it's going to be very ugly. That's one of the few guys as a pitcher when we used to have to chart games. He'd be fun to chart because you didn't have to worry about the other pitches. <laughs> Fastball. That's one, 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 one. You could miss a couple of pitches yeah. and don't worry <laughs> yeah. about it. Just fill just, it in. Just relax and have a conversation. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a one. Where was it located? Well, it was in the strike zone. There was a lot of scouts without, without radar guns. Rivera shooting a line from right center field. That's going to split the outfielder. Simmons will come in to score. Val Buena was looking over his shoulder. He's going to be waved around. The throw from Kipnis, not in time as it is cut off. Rene Rivera with a two RBI double. 11 to two Angels. Boy, we saw that a lot in, in spring training, Jose Rivera swinging the bat exceptionally well. The home run power, three home runs in spring, 10 last season. Another real good swing. We're seeing this a lot today going the other way. That pitch is down. That is a perfect swing for Rivera to drive in two with that double. It answers to your point, Victor, about what the Angels do against somebody with different stuff than Tomlin. It's about carrying that confidence into home play, saying this is our night. Let's go out there and get some strikes and put some boom swings on it. Cozart bouncing this one over to third. Ramirez has it. And the Angels. Half of the fifth in the books. They score three more. We'll head to the sixth inning. Garrett Richards and the Angels with an 11-2 lead.
He's 11 to 2 here. Top of the sixth. Now it's time for Tools of the Trade, brought to you by Ram Trucks. You talk about an adjustment in a game for Garrett Richards. Location was missed there. Rivera wanted that fastball inside. It drifted out over the plate for a home run. But since that point, fastball, location, the glove, the target set and hit throughout with 96, 97 mile an hour fastball. Excellent job as far as recovering with command of the fastball for Richards. Give credit to, to Rivera, Rivera behind the plate to get him back in that zone. Well, we have even give credit to Martin Maldonado after that first inning. He's the one that grabbed Rivera's ear and said, let's talk about a couple things here, even on the way you set up behind the plate for Garrett Richards. That's why these two are so impressive behind the plate. And Rivera is going to really help out Maldonado, not only because of his ability to behind the plate and give him some time off, it's giving that rest and quality rest, couple starts a week. Solid offensively for Rivera. Saw that two-run double. Breaking ball misses, and it's two balls at a strike. Alonzo and Carnacion and Chisenhall. As the Angels begin action in their bullpen and left. Three and one. Yonder Alonzo for two. Come back into the mound and a strikeout. Jim Johnson, first man up. Power sinker himself. So that with Otero. Remember, he tied him up that last time up with a four seam fastball inside. After a couple good slow curveballs. Got him. 3 2 pitch. Down goes Alonzo, one away. The illusion of that slider being in the strike zone gets a lot of hitters out. It's nowhere near the strike zone, but it starts at the knees, ends up in the dirt. How quick and sharp this breaking ball is. Again, the way it goes straight down, it almost bickers it. It's yep. split finger fastball. And it's fastball. As a hitter, you're reading fastball the whole way, and all yep. of a sudden it just disappears. And that's why you get that kind of a reaction. One of those Bo Jackson type swing and break a battle on a strikeout. Eight punch outs in the game for Richards. And in his hand. And that fastball up and in. Runs this fastball. Remember, he struck him out with a high fastball running in last at bat. Runs that fastball inside. Again, that's late movement. And when you're going to miss, we talked about miss off the plate in. It's amazing that he has that ability or the his fastball runs that way. And as you look at the release of that ball in the slow ball, it looks like it's got a almost like a cut action to it. It's rotating as if it's going to cut yep. back across the plate, yet it sails up and in. It backs up. I've had so many conversations Fastball that with backs him. Up. Yes, yes. I go, all right. What do you what are you throwing? Two seam, four seam? It's it's a four seam fastball. Depending on where his wrist is, and the fingers on top of the baseball creates either cut action or run action. And that's generally how quick that front shoulder stays in or flies open. He's one of those guys that is easily described by catchers. He's not easy to catch. <laughs> At times, so unpredictable in the zone for that reason. Oh, and, it, and it's better now than it was certainly when he first came up. When he first came up, it was it was some incredible stuff, but you weren't quite sure where it was going or which way it was going to dart. Exactly. You had hitters going back to the dugout. Talking to other teammates. I, remember, and, uh, uh, I have no idea. I think Adrian Beltre was one of those guys. Oh, yeah, that, the shake of the head up. I have no up. idea. I think that's a fastball, but it could be a cutter, it might be a slider, <laughs> whatever it was. I wasn't hitting it well. I remember Big Poppy approaching me one time, David Ortiz in Boston, say, Please tell me that guy throws a cutter or my eyes are bad. Because <laughs> <laughs> I cannot get the barrel out.
One two. Just stop the plate. Two balls, two strikes. Garrett now at the uh, century mark as far as pitches are concerned. Wild pitch. Nope. Pops up. Rivera throws down to second. And well, that was great. Oh, the base that yep. throw. It is a lot closer to you would anticipate. And Simba selling it right there. Body language. Well, you as a runner just don't have an idea that that ball is coming your way. Take a look at it. They're satisfied with the call at second. I mean, that was a perfect throw. You can't throw a baseball any better than that. You mentioned 36 percent of base deals thrown at. This is a pitch in the dirt, so it's not a stolen base. But what a perfect throw that was. Last five seasons for Rivera. Down goes Chisholm Hall. Two outs. That'll be the last batter. Nine strikeout performance for Garrett Richards. Fell behind on the home run by Ramirez in the first, and he will depart with an 11-2 lead, an opportunity to pick up his first win of 2018. Fox Sports Go. Download the app and take Fox Sports West and Angels Baseball with you wherever you go. Presented by T-Mobile. Jim Johnson, the veteran, on a relief here in the sixth inning. Garrett Richards allows one hit. That was the home run by Ramirez in the first. Nine strikeouts, four walks. And he's responsible for the man standing at second base and for throwing 102 pitches. I really like how he locked in victory after that first inning. Then fell behind on a 3-0 count. Penaquent and then came right back. Three punch outs in that second inning. Some strikeouts in the game for Garrett Richards. It's 2015. Third appearance for Jim Johnson this year. First one downstairs. Roberto Perez, the catcher, over two. He's popped out and grounded out. Jim Johnson, Victor, uh, and Mark, the most important thing is it's not about the uh, strike zone box we'll see on TV. It's about really exploiting and hitting more the bottom of that zone, even below that line, where it's going to induce some ground balls into softer contact, thus setting up his splitter. And trying to bounce back after a couple of tough seasons. He has a ton of value to the Angels staff as a veteran. Great mentor to Blake Parker and 
Keenan Middleton. And he also has that ability coming out of the bullpen. If there's runners on base, he can get a ground ball out. There's not that many of those walking around in baseball with 50 plus saves in consecutive seasons. As he had for the Orioles. And that was after his scariest moment with the elbow injury. Two balls, two strikes. That's a pretty good power sinker there, 94. Taylor is picking Johnson up. Trey with the Atlanta Braves this offseason. Trying to close out the top of the sixth. Mission accomplished. We'll head to the bottom of the sixth. Then the Angels up 11 to 2. And when we return, we get our first edition of Gooby Tuesday. And, um, I mean, you got Lucky Charms, you know, Cocoa Puffs. It's got to go Honey honey Nut Cheerios is all-time classic, but favorite of all time has got to be Frosted Mini Wheats. All-time favorite breakfast cereal has to be Captain Crunch. I, I can I can eat, like, three bowls in, in, in one sitting, which is bad, so I don't, I don't buy them anymore. <laughs> Ooh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's my son's, by the way. Yes. That's my weakness. I don't need it a lot, but I like it. It's really good for you, too, don't you think? Yeah, it has vitamin D. At least it says that on the box, I think. <laughs> so right out of the shoot, you go with uh, the breakfast cereal. So I'm yes. imagining as the season progresses, we'll get to lunch yeah, and then eventually we're, dinner we're, and dessert. We're, we're still trying to get food up here as much <laughs> as possible. I, yeah, I, I love Lucky Charms. I, I, Lucky Charms, the huh? Unicorn marshmallow one. I used to just pick apart the, mushroom, uh, the marshmallows all day long. How am I not surprised by you and Unicorn? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> What Why does that not surprise me? Yes. At all? What about you? What's your favorite one? Uh, favorite cereal? Um, I'm kind of a Captain Crunch fan, but uh, I like Life cereal as a yeah, kid just because call. of the commercial. Yes. Hey, Mikey, he likes it. Jose, what about you, man? Tony the Tiger, baby. Oh, oh frosted. frosted Flakes. Yes. Good call. All, all I, healthy choices, I, by I, the way. I haven't had any in about 30 sugar. years, but yeah, it's still a favorite. And she better off just pouring uh, some sugar in a bowl yeah. and throwing some milk <laughs> yeah. on it. I haven't had Frosted Flakes in about 30 minutes. Let's see, uh, banana clusters. Oh. Mm. See, now they're starting to get fancy with yes. the cereal. Yes. I'm getting kind of hungry right now. <laughs> oh. Trout up to the pools. Matt Belisle's on the mound. Two balls, two strikes. I love how Zach tried to turn it into something healthy for him with the vitamin D and the cinnamon <laughs> crunch. <laughs> Aren't you the one that claims pizza is the perfect food oh. because it's got all the yeah. food groups in it? Tomato sauce, very good for you. Yeah, got the cheese, cheese, dairy, the calcium, you got check. the breads. Yes, check. 
And if you throw some, uh, some pepperoni sausage on there, there you yes. go. Done. Yes. Perfect. That's why you're always eating that za. Yes. Oh, that is launched a straightaway center field. Did he get enough of it, though? Nope. Zimmer at the track. Hauls it in. Needed some lucky charms on That's that one. It. <laughs> Boy, just missed his second home run of the game. If there is a swing in which I could describe, get the ball in the air, that was absolutely the template from this view right here. Well, Jose, when you talk about wow. launch angles and hitting the ball in the air, three guys in this game alone from Trout to Alonso and Ramirez, even Lindor, the changing of their swings to hit the ball in the air, the launch angle to hit the ball and get the carry in the air. Eric Kinski and Joe's heading coach told uh, Alex Curry today, there's no lug on the dirt. Get some lift. Joe's trying to improve on slugging. On base, home runs, extra bases, all from last season. Up to tonight, two for three with a single and a home run. This offense is so capable of a game like this. Last night, Clevenger was just very good. Didn't throw many pitches out over the plate. Lived on the corners, below the corners. See, very deep lineup for the Angels. In typical Mike social response, well, I quote, we didn't get very many looks at him. Not very many good looks at him. Exact opposite here today. Angels getting some great looks from anybody on the mound so far. Lots of 11s up there. That runs 11 hits. Who holds on deck? Albert with a couple of hits tonight. That's driven out towards center. And again, it's going to stay in the ballpark. Back to back times. Up to the trout. Guys locked in tonight. Well, fellas, in terms of uh, some royalty around here from Japan, Indy 500 2017 winner Takuma Sato is in the house, and he had a chance today to visit with Shohei Otani on the field. Gonna be quite proud of what he's seen today from the show on the road. Well, you can just see the difference, the, the confidence at the plate now for Shohei Otani. We all know very well it is a long season and teams will adjust. He will adjust. So it, uh, it's impressive to know that the confidence is the one thing he can carry and learn from what he sees. I mean, uh, the whole game here, I see him going to an iPad, checking some information provided by Ipe, his translator. Live to Alonzo. That'll do it for the Angels. Couple of loud outs. But three in a row, we hit the seventh inning, 11 to two Halos.
Eagles are up 11 to two, and I am here with Renee and Matthew Gutierrez, the two who ended up with Shohei Otani's first big league home run ball. Guys, give us an idea of what it was like in right field and how you ended up with this home run ball. Um, yeah, you know, it, it was an exciting inning, uh, a, a, lot, a lot of offense, uh, and Otani comes up. I, he called it. He said he's going to hit a home run. He thought he was going to hit the grand slam. I guess we had the wild pitch. And then sure enough, uh, right off the bat, you knew it was gone. I mean, he just got a hold of it. And I, I just tried to usher him to the aisle. It was over ahead, hit some seats, bounced back down the aisle. And um, Matthew and the gentleman in front of us were going for the ball. The, the gentleman in front of us actually got it. His glove was open, so he just shoved it in his glove. And uh, that was it. Yeah. So you were given the ball. You didn't actually catch it. You were given to it. How happy were you to get that? I was really happy, really excited, because it's my first Major League ball game and my most valuable one. <laughs> <laughs> Smart kid. Really excited. Yeah, that's a pretty valuable first game and first ball to catch. Now, what are you planning to do with this ball after the game? Give it to Tani. That is so awesome. Now, did you decide to do that? Your dad and you decide to do that? I decided to do that. You, you are one awesome little dude. What are you going to say to him when you meet him? Um, here's the ball. I like that. Well, that is a really honorable move. What a cool experience. Show, show everyone the ball at home. Dad, A plus experience bringing him to his first ball game. Excuse me. A plus experience here, something you guys will never forget. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. We've been, you know, we could come, we try to get uh, home run balls, and you can't beat a ball like this. So. You cannot beat a ball like that, Victor and Gooby. That Thanks, was Alex. really cool. Oh, yeah. What a great little story. And he's lefty. Yes. He's got some movement on yes. that. Yes. Oh, wait, that's. He's going to get to meet Shohei Otani after the game to give him that baseball. Talk about a smile on his face now. Can you imagine that smile after the game? Yep. I don't oh. think we've stopped smiling yet this whole game. Know. How encouraging for him and for his classmates and the neighborhood. And that's the kid. He caught Otani's first home run. He will carry that forever. Breaking ball hit out to a right. Cole's there. One down. I mean, even get back to Jim Johnson. His curveball last year, very effective pitch as far as straight down, a change of speed between his 93 and 94 mile an hour fastball to throw that curveball. He finished off the last inning against Preds with a slow curveball. That hitter, Nick, went out in front on a curveball. Plenty of transactions as of late for the Angels and the Braves. We talk about Simmons, talk about Johnson. Recently, Carlos Perez ends up also with the Braves, getting a new opportunity. Former Angels catcher. That's the difference between a veteran pitcher and a young pitcher. Johnson never even flinched at that ball, just knew where Simmons was at. Let it go right by. Yes. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher try to kick at it or even try to use that bare hand. Ground ball. He knew exactly where he was located. He says, yep, yeah, uh, that's a ground ball out. Actually, anywhere on the field itself is, is close to Edmonton Simmons. Door. Go for two with a walk. A couple of strikeouts. Handles made a couple of defensive changes. Top of the seventh. Zach Kozark no longer in the game. Nolan Fontana takes over for him. In second base. Chris Young, new left fielder. Jeffrey Marte, the new first baseman. All ball two strikes. Day game tomorrow, and a very difficult, tough pitcher on the mound for Cleveland, Corey Kluber. The Klubot. Talk about a nasty slider. Called strike three, got him looking a one, two, three, seven. 
four straight retired by Johnson. All Angels tonight. Toward right center field. Going back on it is Zimmer. At the wall. Gone! Big fly, Otani son! First start at home for Shohei Otani, and he's uh, made the most of it. Homering in his first at bat here at the Big A. Three run jack in the first, a single in the third, struck out looking in the fifth. So two for three so far. As Cole leads things off. Matt Belisle's back after his second inning of work. Victor, how cool was that that Mike Trout was behind that to be able to get Shohei Otani to go out for that curtain call. What a moment for the youngster. 23 years old. Rene Rivera was at the plate. He stepped in for a second and stepped out of the box. He's been around long enough yep. to realize that the Angels faithful. We're going to ask for a curtain call. Shohei's due up fourth this inning. Two balls, one strike on Cole. One for three. Hits tonight for the Angels, one for Cleveland. Here is a two run home run of the first of Garrett Richards. Oh, goes down swinging for the first out. Extended his hitting streak. The RBI double in the fifth inning, first extra base hit. Night. Second inning of relief tonight. Two down. And this copyrighted telecast is presented by Authority of the Los Angeles Angels. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP.
Luis Valbuena with a very good game here himself tonight. One for one, three runs scored, that one hit, a home run. That is lined to center. Zimmer coming on, slides, and did he make the catch? He did. Never an easy play for a center fielder. That line shot hit right at him. The Angels down in order here in the seventh. We'll head to the eighth inning. The Angels leading it at 11 to 2. It 11 to 2. Keep in mind after the game, we're going to break it all down on Angels Live. Ken French over on the desk. All about one man, one swing, one very special moment. Shohei Otani goes deep here at the big A first AB to set the crowd on fire and get the Angels a very comfortable first inning here at home. Jose, we appreciate the time, buddy. Got it. All right, man, we'll see you on the post-game show. Way to go, Jose. Parker on the bump for the Angels, replacing Jim Johnson. Johnson ended up working a uh, perfect inning in the third. Two strikeouts. It's very important for Blake to get back to being consistent with his release point, both with his fastball and his splitter. It's been a struggle so far outstanding season last year for Parker. This is Eric Gonzalez took over for Jason Kipnis defensively in the sixth inning. Six-year-old native of the Dominican Republic. Two balls and one strike. Got into 60 games last year. 255 with four home runs and 11 runs batted in. Balls one strike. 35,007 attendance tonight. Treated to one heck of a show. <laughs> Liner out to right center field. Trout was shading that way, hauls it in. One down. That's good placement there. Right, Dino Yilma, as far as having that outfield in bat position to run that one down. That ball was hit well, but Trout right there to run that one down. See where he's located. Anticipate him hit the ball the other way. A pitch down, hits the other way. Good swing. The Trout right there to run it down.
Ramirez with the only hit for Cleveland tonight. His first of the season, a two-run home run in the first inning. One ball and strike. Shot over to Val Buena. Two down. Great splitter there. Let's take a look at tomorrow's starters brought to you by Verizon. Big matchup. Tyler Skaggs versus Corey Kluber. Kluber won a second Cy Young last season. Also won one back in 2014. What a great season he had. 18 and 4 with the area, just barely over two. Tyler Skaggs coming off an outstanding win. In his debut versus Oakland, six shutout innings, no walks for Skaggs, five punch outs. Yonder Alonzo 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts. Leaving up the count. Mentioned earlier, Matt Shoemaker put on the disabled list. Parker Bridwell, who was outstanding last year, recalled. More than likely would be starting now on Friday. Was initially potentially down to the bullpen of early on, but now sitting in a dugout, ready and focused for that start on Friday. Lonzo lifts one out toward right center field. Cole calling for it. Shot of the track. A one, two, three inning for Blake Parker. We head to the bottom of the eighth inning, Joey Otani to lead things off for the Angels. Already with a couple of hits tonight. Let's see what he can do when we return. save of the game the youngster Matthew Gutierrez getting that baseball was given to him by a couple fans in the stands in right field the baseball the Shohei Otani hit out his first career major league home run it's going to give it that baseball to Shohei after the game great moment there for Matthew the youngster coming to his first game here and getting that opportunity to be part of history Otani to lead things off against a new pitcher, Zach McAllister. He also pitched last night. 8 9 of 1 for the Angels. Otani, Rivera, and then uh, Chris Young. Might see some steady diet of fastballs now. That last at bat. Fastball in. Back inside. K 
McAllister worked just one third of an inning last night. Shohei the home run in the first, the single in the third, struck out looking in the fifth. Back inside. That's a good swing on a fastball. And he was anticipating the heater inside. 95. Did a nice job as far as reading some pitches, not chasing. Got that protective gear on the elbow and his pitching hand. Two-two. That is line to center field. How about a three-hit game? That's a rocket. Well, I love to see the exit velocity off of that fastball. Squared up with the barrel of the bat. Talk about driving a fastball. Fastball stayed back and lines it right back up the middle. What a perfect swing there for Shohei Otani. What a game at the dish. 112.8 exit velocity off of that bat there for Shohei Otani. That is excellent. Well above the average. Rivera this one out toward right field. Going back on this one. There's Chisholm Hall at the wall. Leaps up. I think that might be gone. Nope. They're saying it's in play. Being stopped at third is Otani. It's the first base umpire's call. Mike DeMuro. My associate's going to check that one. Looks like right away. That looked like it was over. It's a home run. Yeah, that is a home run. That'll be two home fifth. runs today over there. The fifth home run of the game. Just challenge him. Yes. I mean, just go ahead and challenge him. I mean, I guess you can go to the crew chief and, and ask for a review. And I think that's what they're going to do, as opposed to a, just a straight challenge. But I mean, it's 11-2 game. It'll soon be 13-2 after this thing gets overturned. I will say this for the umpire situation. If you've got that board out there, it's a lot of lights, a lot of things glaring back at you. It's not a plain green yeah. wall so that you can see the ball bounce back up. So I can understand where yes. visual and you've got a glove in front of the baseball or near the baseball here. I said Chisenhall, it was Geyer who played replaced Chisenhall. So you're right there by that Marlin yep, the symbol. Yep. So it'll be 13 that was quick. to 2. Home run. There it is. Rene Rivera. With his first. Joe Hay waving him home. Ten home runs last season for Rene Rivera. Three in the spring. First of the regular season here. We're in a Halo Uni. Two with the new dimensions tonight. I had a conversation with Billy Epler about that, how many he thought. He was thinking anywhere between six to eight extra home runs. Already two. What, the first uh, week <laughs> of the season? <laughs> Five different players with home runs tonight for the Angels. 13 runs, 13 hits. <laughs> it was bad. 
reaching a franchise record with those five different players homering. I believe this would be the 15th time, if I'm not mistaken, 15th different time. Yep. Last time it was done, it's August 18, 2017, at Baltimore. This one into the dugout. Shell hey, what a game. And only because you asked, 113 miles per hour off the bat on the base hit to center field by Otan. 2 2. Back to that swing for Shohei Otani. 112.8 miles per hour exit velocity. And when you look at averages, when you're over that 100 mark, especially well over that 100 mark like that, that ball is seared off the bat. And we've heard all of the uh, comparisons to Babe Ruth because of the, uh, the ability to play both sides of the baseball, Shohei. First to win as a starting pitcher in one game, then start homer as a non pitcher the next. The first time since Babe Ruth did it, 21. Again, everyone keeps asking, what do you expect from I, I, We just say, just live in the moment right yeah. now. This is such a special time to see this from the youngster. Three hits in the game. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow, next week, next month. But, but for this moment right now, I'm telling you, incredible. it's rather impressive considering the transition this 23-year-old kid has made with the brightest of spotlights shining down on him on the biggest stage. And to endure four to five weeks of essentially negative press coverage. Non-stop from spring training to put it all aside, go out on opening day, get a base knock on his very first pitch in the big leagues, pick up a W on Sun in his first start, then come home for his first game in this ballpark, his home ballpark, not only homer, but come up with three hits. Yeah, we talked about a lot what we saw in spring training on the mound. He had some moments where he had outstanding stuff. And at the plate, we saw a lot of really, really good swings in batting practice. Was he going to be able to correlate that into game action? Well, he's showing it here tonight. He is incredibly strong, too. Baseball jumps off his bat. Full count. Trout. Oh, yeah, by the way, Mike Trout. Home the game. Yeah, Trout one for four with a home run in the first inning. <laughs> Three two, and he walked him. One out, three pass. It'll bring up Jeffrey Marte for his first plate appearance. Looked pretty amazing as far as the home runs today for Angels batters in this game. It's phenomenal. We talk about an international game. Mike Trout, United States, Otani, Japan. Justin Up, the United States, Venezuela for Luis Valbuena, Rene Rivera, Puerto Rico. Pretty amazing. Jeffrey skying this one on the uh, first base side. And uh, just going to run out of room. Marte so far, 5 for 11 on the season.
This was Upton's spot in the order. Originally, Justin ended up going two for four with a single and a home run. Ground ball toward the middle. Gonzalez near the back has it. That's turning into a 4-3 double play. We will head to the ninth inning. All Angels tonight. Fireworks. For more information on the post-game movie, just go to angels.com. 13 to 2 Angels as we start the ninth. Blake Wood is on the mound. Takes over. Blake Parker pitched a perfect eighth inning. By the way, Gooby, I know we did the stat cast on that base hit by Shohei Otani. You round up that 112.8 to 113. Single is the hardest hit ball of the season so far for the Angels, and the hardest hit ball hit uh, since the 113.6 mile per hour base hit Mike Trout had last August 30th. That's that's amazing. And remember, he was uh, he had 22 pitches that he threw on Sunday were 98 miles an hour or above. Rajay Davis pinch hitting for Edwin Encarnacion. Get this one over to second. Nolan Fontana corrals it. Well done. Yeah, we're back at it again tomorrow. It's an afternoon affair. 107. First pitch. Angels live at 12:30. Tyler Skaggs going up against Corey Kluber. Angels will have their hands full with the Klubot. It'll be a battle, but the way the team swung the bat tonight. Carry over into those good swings using the whole field. Guy are one for four on the year with a double and an RBI. It's sharply towards short. Sembo's got him. Two down. Going back to my Hyundai key for this game today to break that losing streak to Cleveland. Up down. You talk about balance up and down the lineup. Excellent lineup. And of course, up and down the strike zone for the Garrett Richards and the bullpen so far. Trout with a home run. Rivera at the bottom of the order with a home run. Shohei Otani, first career home run in the show, along with three hits total for Showtime.
Perez the catcher 0 for 3. There he is, the man right there, Shohei Otani. Two one on the corner, two two. Swing, did it go? He did like that baby up as the Angels. Even up the series at a game of peace tonight. They had some thump in the lineup. 13 to 2 the final. Well, you think about it, Vic, a one hitter. Impressive effort on the mound, but what a game at the plate. Shohei Otani set the tone. Home run, three run home run in the first. His first at bat at the big A, wearing that Angel uniform. Three hits in the game. Mike Trout with a home run. Rivera with a home run. Upton with a home run. Valbuena with a home run. 13 to 2. Halos break that 12 game losing streak to the Cleveland Indians. Jared Richards picked up the win as the Angels, his first, by the way, of 2018, as he allowed just one hit. That was the home run to Jose Ramirez in the first inning. Garrett with nine strikeouts on his way to pick up that first W. But of course, the story tonight was about Shohei Otani making his home debut where the Angels read, and he certainly did not disappoint. <laughs> that first at bat, he came up with a, uh, almost a potential for a, a bases loaded situation, but a wild pitch kind of uh, messed that up. But overall, a, a fantastic performance by the youngster. Shohei is down on the field with her own Alex Curry. Alex. Shohei, what a special night. A three-run home run, a three-hit game. Describe what that moment was like to get your first big league home run here at the Big A and to share it with all these Angel fans. That's a big celebration they do here at the Big A. But describe what that moment was like. Obviously felt really, really good. <laughs> now it was a big night. We saw the power of this entire lineup, but we also saw you talking to your teammates between each at bat. How has it helped talking to hitters like Mike Trout and Albert Pujols? How has it helped improve your game? そうですね。もうみんなあのいろんな話を聞いたりとか、え、バッティングコーチもそうですし、いろいろこう話しかけてくれるのですごいためになってるなと思ってます。I mean, not just my teammates, but the hitting coaches, all the staff, they all helping me all make me feel comfortable, so my success is due to them too. Well, congratulations once again on an unbelievable debut here at the Big A and your first big league home run. Thank you. Well, it was showtime tonight here at the Big A. His first big league home run and a monster night for the Angels' bats, a final of 13 to 2. But don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with Ken French and Jose Moda on Angels Live.